least in the world of entertainment and the world of networking and the world of IoT, at and is changing the world. I'm at the AT&T R&D Center in Tel Aviv, Israel. I'm here with Nia. He's the CEO of the operation here. Nia, great to, to meet you. Thank you very much for coming. And we've got so much interesting stuff to talk about here today, but just tell us a little bit about the, the, the R&D Center here and, and, and what you do and what your role is. Okay, so first of all, um, the R&D Center of AT&T here in Israel um, is, has been basically built in the last 10 years. Uh, ten years ago, AT&T decided to acquire a local uh, startup company called Interwise. Okay. Interwise was selling for the last 20 years, basically, uh, solutions for um, web, voice, and video conferencing over IP. Twenty years ago, it was actually one of the first companies in the world uh, to sell voice over IP technologies. Okay. Uh, with, you know, with very um, uh, minimal uh, infrastructure back then ready for uh, voice over IP. And 10 years ago, AT&T decided to acquire the product and obviously the, the people coming with it. And at that time, 10 years ago, there were only 60 people here in the R&D in Israel um, that built the, the Intuos product. Um, in 2010, uh, AT&T decided to open up uh, the local R&D center and basically allow us to uh, work on many other projects in the company and not only the original projects which, uh, for which we were uh, acquired. And since then, there are more and more activities that we are doing over here uh, for the benefit of the company. Why do you think that is? What, it is, what is it about the R&D center here in Tel Aviv that has led AT&T, a very large US company, to basically invest so much here in, in the team here? Uh, you know, getting connected to the ecosystem. We also have a foundry here in Israel. Right. It's a small operation that allows us to connect with the ecosystem and introduce to the company uh, the local technologies and local companies. Probably the most important point is uh, the mindset and the culture okay. uh, that we try to bring uh, to the company. Um, you know, as part of our overall, I would say, uh, culture here, uh, getting, getting something done, uh, not getting no as an answer, <laughs> uh, getting things solved, coming, you know, with speed and agility, uh, with, uh, with the business focus in mind, understanding the customer's needs. So I think the combination of innovation, uh, technological expertise, and, and culture and mindset creates that blend uh, that drives the value for the company. So you mentioned there that the speed of development. Uh, now I understand here um, in, in this facility you're using a number of different development uh, models, for want of a different word, uh, and ways of working that are helping in this, like Agile, for example. Can you just t tell us a little bit about how the work is done here? Yeah, definitely. So I think that the software development world is changing rapidly. And you know, if you think about traditional industries like car manufacturing, and you go to the assembly line, everything is done pretty much automatically with robots or, uh, or other means of, of doing automatic work. And in a funny way, software development stayed a little bit behind. Still, we have people sitting behind the keyboard and writing code. Right. And, uh, and I think that in the last 18 months, that is now changing. And, and, and talking about software development processes, we are looking on how we can automate uh, uh, big portions of this uh, application development life cycle so that we come with speed. And we, we here in the center today, every project that we have runs through a completely automatic CI, CD process. And we'll talk later on about some of the things that we are doing here. But this is the reason we can really deliver to our customers a, a working software every two weeks sometimes even every day. Wow. Because we do all that overnight when the people are sleeping, they come in the morning and they see the results right. of this automatic process running in our assembly lines, if you may. Okay, fantastic. Um, so what would be the, the, the key sort of technology areas of development that, that you would be doing here? I mean, I'm, I'm sure uh, sort of IoT and, and SDN would be probably two of them, but what would be the sort of the, the key areas of de development? You know, AT&T is now driving uh, very ag aggressively towards leading uh, 
the world of communication in, in entertainment uh, worldwide. Uh, and, and when you think about telecommunication, telecommunication and entertainment, uh, there are so much into it. Uh, there are so many things you need to do mm -hmm. to be able to lead the world with telecommunication and entertainment. Uh, and our, uh, our contribution uh, to that is in like five different areas. Uh, so the, the first one that you mentioned is software-defined networking. Okay. AT&T is practically defining uh, the new um, uh, model of work, the new operating system of the future's telecommunication networks. Uh, this is what we call internally ecomp, and now known as ONAP as its uh, open sourced uh, uh, version going out there. Yep. So we here in Tel Aviv, we are, we are developing some components of, of ECOMP okay. uh, uh, as part of this uh, company's initiative. This is number one. The second one, we spoke about entertainment. Uh, at t launched at the end of November uh, a new product which is called DirecTV Now. Okay. That allows customers to consume uh, video uh, from any device, from any place, over the top, very easily for live channels and uh, VODs. Uh, so uh, our team basically developed all the uh, customer-facing application of DirecTV Now. So everything that the customers will touch, from an Android application to iOS application um, and, and web application, etc., was all developed uh, by, uh, by our team okay. with a great collaboration with our uh, colleagues and friends uh, in, in, in Los Angeles and other areas of the world. Uh, the third area is security. Uh, Israel is, is known for its uh, security uh, expertise. Uh, so we have a pretty large uh, team here in Israel that is uh, dealing with the security aspects. And, and maybe I will tie to it one more thing. Everything that we do is data-driven, meaning we try to, to read and analyze data, and out of that come with insights and conclusions for the business. And the way we do security is by doing data analysis, right. uh, driving conclusions out of data analysis, and coming with that with ways to improve customers' uh, security overall. So that's the third area. Uh, another area is networking. The company is now changing its network, and there are many things we need to do to make uh, the, the company's network to be the best network in the world. And this is another uh, area that we are uh, participating in. And of course, we, we mentioned the, the IoT trend that everyone is, is being part of. Uh, and also here in Tel Aviv, we, are, uh, we have few projects around uh, the Internet of Things. Uh, and basically, how to uh, make that revolution in the world that not only every person has now a device connected to the network, but everything will be connected to the network. Yeah and which values we're going to drive out of it. So this is another area. And the last one, which is our maybe traditional one, uh, the legacy area is rich communication services. So voice over IP, video over IP, uh, uh, web over IP. Uh, this is another area that we still have uh, very strong expertise around and try to help the company as much as we can. Okay, that's an incredible range of, of areas that you're working in there. And obviously a lot of very key developments that are recognized globally. Of course, there's been a lot of uh, uh, discussion and focus on, on ecomp and then uh, ONAP as the open source version of that. Is there any particular area of development here within the team that that that, that you uh, or AT and T are most excited about? Is there one that one shining star uh, going on here? I mean, that's maybe a little bit unfair to help to to try and get you to pick one out. But <laughs> is there like for 2017? Is there something that's just e exploded? Well, it's, it's like uh, asking you to choose between your children, right? Yes, that uh, happens all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to pick one because at least in the world of entertainment and the world of networking and the world of IoT, uh, at t is changing the world. And, you know, you cannot, you cannot get too excited with being part of things that are changing the world. <laughs> so I'm so much excited with what we do around entertainment and rich communication services and IoT uh, and networking. So unfortunately, you're not going to get a straight answer <laughs> right. because I'm so much excited with everything that we do. Right, that's, right. that's a real honest answer. Yeah, it's an embarrassment of riches by the sound of it. So <laughs> excellent. Well, that must make your every working day like really uh, intriguing, exciting. So it, it sounds like a great job you have here. And it'd be great to, to catch up again when we come back to Tel Aviv uh, this time next year and find out how things have developed. So, Nia, thanks very much for talking to us Thank you very today. much for coming. Really okay. appreciate that. Thank you.